A rectangular wall 320 meters thick is made up of an inner layer of a fire brick of thermal conductivity 0.84 watt per meter degree Celsius is covered with a layer of insulation whose thermal conductivity is given 0.16 watt per meter cal degree Celsius. The reactor operates at a temperature of 1325 degree Celsius and the ambient temperature is 25 degree Celsius. First calculate determine the thickness of fire brick and insulation whose give minimum heat loss. Calculate the heat loss presuming that the insulating material has a maximum temperature of 1200 degree Celsius. So basically a wall a composite wall is given which is made up of fire brick as well as insulation. The complete thickness the total thickness of wall is given 320 mm. Basically it is a reactor wall. So inside temperature of reactor wall is given 132 25 degree Celsius and the ambient temperature is given 25 degree Celsius. The thermal conductivity of fire brick is given 0.84 watt per meter degree Celsius and the thermal conductivity of this insulation is given 0.16 watt per meter degree Celsius. We have to calculate the thickness of fire brick as well as insulating material and second calculate heat loss presuming that the insulating material has a maximum temperature of 1200 degrees Celsius. Hence I am written all the given data the total thickness of material are given 320 mm that is 0 0.320 meter. Temperature at the inner side of reactor wall is given 1325 degrees Celsius and the outer side of the reactor or that is the ambient temperature is given 25 degrees Celsius. And where the both walls are attached that temp wall temperature is given 1200 degrees Celsius. Thermal conductivity of fire brick is also given 0.84 watt per meter degree Celsius and thermal conductivity of insulation is also given 0.16 watt per meter degree Celsius. I have to calculate thickness of fire brick as well as thickness of insulation. So I am writing LA stands for thickness of fire brick. LB stands for thickness of insulation and the next I have to calculate the heat loss that is a Q. So first one is a solution. I have to calculate first the thickness of fire brick as well as insulation. So I am writing here thickness of fire brick and insulation. Before I starting this I simplify this equation LA plus LB is equals to L that is LA plus LB is equals to 0 0.320. I can write LB is equals to 0 0.320 minus of LA. We know the heat flux under the steady conduction is constant when a heat is flow toward the media. Or we can say when a heat is transferred through a composite wall under the steady state condition the heat flux become that is Q become final temperature minus initial temperature divided by that is T1 minus T3 divided by thickness of first layer divided by thermal conductivity of that layer that is LA upon K of fire brick that is I am denoted by KB plus thickness of another layer that is the insulation layer LB upon thermal conductivity of that layer that is K of insulation. Even I can split this equation in another way also like T1 minus T2 upon LA upon KB is equals to T2 minus T3 upon L of B upon K of insulation. So I am considering these two equations basically to calculate the thickness of fire brick as well as insulation. I am just 
considering these two things. So, from these two I can say T1 minus T3 upon LA upon KB plus LB upon K of insulation is equals to T1 minus T2 upon LA upon KB. I have T1, T3, T1, T2. So, I am just writing all the things. T1 is 1325 minus T3 is 25 whole divided by LA. I am writing as it is divided by KB 0.84 plus LB. I am mean, written LB is equals to 0 0.320 minus LA upon K of insulation 0 0.16 is equals to T1. 1325 minus T2 1200 divided by LA as it is divided by 0.84. So, from this equation, I can easily calculate the thickness of fabric. I am just simplifying these things here, it becomes 300. Now, this becomes 1 upon. 0.84 that is 1.1904 LA plus this become 0 0.320 divide by 0 0.16 that is 2 minus 1 divided by 0 0.16 that is 6.25 LA is equals to this become 125 divide by 1.1904 LA. I am simplifying this that is 31300 divided by this become 6.25 minus 1.1904 that is 2 minus 5.0596 LA is equals to I am dividing this 125 divided by 1.1904 it become 105 divided by LA I am just doing a cross multiplication therefore it become 1300 LA is equals to 105 2 minus 5.0596 LA therefore the value of LA is equals to 2.1146 meter. Therefore, I am putting this value in this equation LA plus LB is equals to 0 0.320. Therefore, LB is equals to 0 0.320 minus of answer. Therefore, the value of LB is 0 0.2053 meter. Calculate the heat loss presuming that the insulating material has a maximum temperature of 1200 means basically I have to calculate heat loss per unit area that is called net heat flux. We know Q is equals to T1 minus T2 upon LA upon K. From the previous equation I have taken this. Therefore, Q is equals to T1 is given 1325, T2 is given 1200, LA I have that is 0.1146 divided by k is a 0.84. I am just calculating this that is 1325 minus 1200 divided by 0.1146 divided by 0.84. It becomes 916.23 watt per meter square. So, this is my answer.